Um, so we're here to talk about how important we feel schools are in developing community partnerships and relationships and building a, a real sustainable community. Um, if we go to the next. Yes. So this is our garden, um, one of the few projects that uh, Cassandra and I are a part of. We, in fact, lead this. And it started in 2007, and we both started in 2007. And it's really grown, and it's all about building connections, um, breaking down <coughs> teenage stereotypes. It's really um, connecting with not only your own grade, but grade 8 to 12, community members, seniors, elementary schools. And through that, we've been able to go to 13 beds and many more things. We've also been able to influence Vancouver School Board to change their policy around um, gardens. This is our greenhouse. We built it ourselves. Everything in our garden is student-built. It's a student-led project, too. And this is our greenhouse, 16 by 20. And it's home to many hundreds of different varieties of plants which go to community centers, um, and sold in local organic gardens. And this is all to really tie in how much this stuff is needed in schools. And it is hard, there's so much resistance in the administration level, not our administration, but other schools. Um, there's a lot of resistance and it's hard to get teachers especially to really connect with this curriculum. Um, I don't, it, it may look kind of blurry, but this is a cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> it's. One of the new things, um, all these projects, a lot of people think that it's too much out of the curriculum. How do we tie this in? But this system, um, you can't really see, it's an aquaponics system, which ties in aqua, uh, aquaculture and hydroponics in a soilless medium. So it uses the benefits of fish and the benefits of plants together to grow really big and really nice um, <coughs> vegetables. And then this is a picture of some of our... Um, wonderful volunteers working together. Um, everything we do is off timetable. Um, this is a pro D day, so there was no school, and we would spend a whole school day working. Um, in the summer, we spend every day in the garden, and so it's all student connected, and it, it, it's a really opportunity to um, work with each other, and has the ability to bring everyone together. Um, so this picture here is um, at a preschool near our school, and it's a, called the Happy Corner Preschool. And there was a teacher, um, a parent actually, who uh, heard about um, our garden, and she contacted us and asked us if we would like to help them in building this garden for them. And so um, early in January, Brendan and I and a few volunteers went over to the preschool to help build them, to help build some garden beds. So um, we, it was a great work party and it was a lot of fun. Um, and th another project is our bike festival. So every year in June, which is bike month, we um, set up a huge festival to invite all community members to come out and celebrate the importance of alternative transportation. And um, we have a large bike train in the morning um, with students and staff riding around the neighborhood. And then we have a big celebration um, at the end of the day. And um, it's a lot of fun. And we're planning our fourth annual um, bike fest this year. This one right here is, um, we're in the flower beds um, outside of the Senior Society. Uh, the rent we're calling it Senior Society. And we um, wanted to establish um, an intergenerational uh, relationship with seniors. And so what we did, we went, we applied for a grant and we received a grant from the Parks Board and we helped build two fla um, flower beds. And we want to continue to um, connect with the seniors through um, garden workshops. And this one um, here is very special to us because this was from our second annual climate change conference in which we focused on the tar sands. So we had um, two um, amazing speakers to come in um, to speak to us about the tar sands and we invited uh, students all over the Lower Mainland uh, to learn about the tar sands and the effects. Um, on Canadians and people worldwide, and um, it, it was it was great. It was a zero waste conference, and we were really happy about it. Um, and this picture here is a poster that was created by the wonderful mentors at the Wilderness Committee, in which they're helping us to coordinate this parade. And so basically, it's on Friday, April twenty second, uh, Good Friday, and we are hold. It's at eleven a.m. starting at Commercial Journal. It's going to be a very big event, very youth, this is like a youth-led event to be the biggest Earth Day celebration Vancouver has ever seen. 
and it's going to be full of festivities. We want people, to, artistic talent to come out. Uh, we want it to really burst out in, in color and festival feeling. Um, this is a picture of Windermere specifically. Um, all, the, all the other schools are also doing this, hopefully. Um, but this is going to be a 2B windmill. It's going to be one and a half stories tall. It's already done and completed. Um, and it's ready to showcase. And it's kind of like if we look through history, um, this is the famous picture of after, uh, during World War II of Flag of Our Fathers. Um, we have that on our poster, but with a windmill. And showing that instead of... Um, uh, movement for um, petroleum and oil and imperialistic agendas. It's um, a change for climate. Climate change is not just a change um, of climate that affects us, but it's also climate justice, which is becoming our focus. Thank you very much.